In our previous video, we crafted an entire game using just one sprite. Now we are taking things to the next level, building a complete scratch game without any sprites. Yes, you heard that right, no sprites, only backdrops. At first glance, it might seem easy, but trust me, it's not. Backdrops in Scratch are pretty basic. They stay in the background on the very last layer, can't be moved around or dragged, and it lacks the functionality of sprites. The biggest blows being no motion, no clones, and limited sensing. With no movement, clones, or sensing, we are pretty limited in what we can do. However, backdrops still have a major feature, detecting keyboard input. So our game will need to rely heavily on key-based interaction. So after staring over black white screen for a while, I finally got it. And I got the perfect idea for our game. So yeah, let's dive in and get started. And what's our first task? It's drawing some rectangles, yes. So I was not sure of the exact number needed, so I just started with one, added small gap, aligned them, and then copied them until they filled the bottom part of the stage. And just like that, we got seven costumes. After that, I recolored them accordingly and left one additional backdrop flat, just for the time being to test our code. So yeah, now it's coding time. So first things first, I switched the backdrops randomly because I'm lazy. So now on to detection. With 7 rectangles to manage, we need 7 different keys assigned to each and they should be relatively close to each other so our game would be playable. So finally I went with the WASD keys because those are pretty common along with the Q, Z and X keys for convenience. Just the simple detection script, when this key is pressed, we need to check whether it's the same backdrop. And if it's the same backdrop, we need to increase our score. And after duplicating the script seven times, yeah, it's time to put it to test. And oh, immediate error. I, uh, I forgot to add a weight block. So let's just put like one second. Let's do it. So now I want to test all keys. Yeah, this is not the best way of testing. So let me just remove the random block and put an S costume. Now we could check all our keys. And oh, one is not working. Oh, great. So yeah, no mistakes. I forgot to switch this. So as you'll notice, I was completely ignoring the score because it has messed up. So after that, I added a wait until block so it could detect key presses. Just one, increase the score by one. So yeah, now we finally got that working. So some of you viewers right there might actually comment that this magnificent code is inefficient and garbage. And I totally agree. So to improve it, I decided to add a little text under each rectangle, making it easier to remember which key to press and prevent your brain from blowing up. I also renamed each costume to its corresponding key, like Q for red and W for orange, vice versa, simplifying our whole detection process. And now with just three blocks, voila, it works like a chart. And oh, it broke again. So more bugs. Since we are using the random block and only have seven costumes, there's a really high chance that the random value might be same as the previous one. This would result in the same costume appearing repeatedly on the screen without the player realizing it. We definitely don't want that. So yeah, time to fix it. So now I made two new variables called random to get our random value as a variable and then switch the backdrop to that variable so we have control of what random number we have. So like I can see we don't get the previous random number but basically on a game like this you need some surprise so maybe you need to click twice twice so yeah we need some kind of you know randomness into it so we are going to recode that wow that's fun so the first step is to bring back our white costume yes trust me we are not going to delete it again last random number equals random number then we need to switch to our black costume and then we need to switch our backdrop to the random backdrop that should do it so now let's test it so now we need to cut away oh there we go we got it so we need to click twice there we go so let me just reduce this to one second so there we go we could click twice so that's a really cool thing to add to our game now we need to code our line add some sound effects add some lines and make this game hard so unfortunately i didn't know that my mic was off so yeah i'll try to dub and make it as realistic as possible oh my god so first of all i tried to add lives because of course we need lives we're going to make this game harder 
So I tried with Ted Light to start because this game is really really hard. So each life would be decreased if you miss any of the clicks. So I didn't want our lives to decrease only when we miss any of the clicks. I want it to happen when we miss click anything. So if you press a wrong key, then boom, you lost the lives. And as you can see, our lives are working and kind of just now because our lives goes to a negative value as well. So we need to fix that. So that's a really easy fix. We just need to add some equals or lesser than and then set our game over. And now let's test it. And for some reason, it did not work. Like I didn't know at first what really happened. And would you look at that? I made a new mistake. I used the equal instead of O. Wow, I'm hating myself. So after that quick bug fix, and it still does not work. For some reason, I, I didn't know why we made a new spike called game over. Just adding some text and you know, of course we had to type try hard. And you know, I just went through the backdrop library and, and I then went with this bench backdrop because I think it looked nice. And you know, tried to position it with the bench. Uh, it didn't look that good. So I just placed it on the center. And yep, so far, now let's try the game over. And when you look at that, it works. So next thing is to add an indicator for the variable, which is which. I just added a text called lives, duplicated the same thing, and added for school. Copy the same sprite, adjusted it according to the portions of the variables, right that. And now we got this nice indicator. So yeah. Other than I made a variable called time so we could have better control of the time and to make this game even more harder. And right off this, I realized that my mic was off so I turned it on and yeah, back to the past version of myself. Bye. I can't even test this man because I won't get more than 20 so let's try to get him more than 20. Come on, no. Oh, here we go. It's not working again. Like, come on, dude why so just as we run the game you know like split second then only the rectangle shows up for some reason and it reduces our life so we don't want that happening obviously something is not happening great so create a small intro scene then let's broadcast a new message called oh my god i hate you scratch when we in fact click, we need to switch costume to our third one. Why do we have something called Q2? Q. That probably broke the game. I don't know. Right, right. I'm doing this. More than 20. Let's go. All right. All right, 20. Yo, all right. Is this hard? Absolutely. That's why I call it the hardest game. So probably let's just change this to like 1.5. 1. 1.8 and maybe like 0. 0.6 like if you had absolute chat. So now it's time to add some sound effects because it's really boring. <clears throat> okay, interesting. Let's try it. That's perfect. That's perfect. No one should argue. So let's find another one. You know what? Background music. So forever we need to play sound bossa nova. I don't know how, how do you say that. What language is that? Really weird. <coughs> you know what? That also makes sense. Try just with the really cool sound effects. <coughs> my god, that's so bad. Oh my god, the game started. And we need another sound for when we click. And I think this looks great. So now let's test it. And boom.
Oh my god, 40 died. Come on, come on, the ticket. Oh, nice. Wow, four times in a row, that's lucky. Oh my god, hey. Just got my life. Oh my god. Alright, 35. Let's try to beat 49. 21. That's so bad. Forty-three. You gotta be kidding me. And now to switch on to the online editor. And if you're wondering why this looks completely different from normal Scratch, I'm using three extensions: Scratch Add-ons, Scratch Tools, and Block Live. And I've done three separate videos on that. Make sure to check there. Like, why did that tutorial thing pop twice? Why did that happen? So now it's time to make a global radio band diary. Do you wanna just set the high score right on here? I mean, it is set our uh, high score currently to 49. Nice. So yeah, we did it. We made a whole game without using any sprite, just using the background. Of course, make sure to give this game a try and try to beat my high score. Links on the description below. And if you like this video, make sure to give this video a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this.